Hey everyone, today we are back with a fire rescue series on the Kalantulan map. Let's hop in the comments, head over to the station and see what happens. We'll be hopping in our chief truck, a Ram 3500, comments here fully equipped with all the emergency lights. Let's take a quick walk around here, look at all those stripes up there in the windshield, in the grill. And we do have a few here in the back as well, but we do have a full shift here today, I think. We'll be working at the station for over 12 hours. Now, today's video has been highly requested by many of you guys, so if you do have any cool ideas here, drop them down below, because we have a lot to come here in 2021. Now I did update all the fire vehicles to the latest versions here, a few of them did get a little bit of retextures, and we do have a brand new station as well. Wow, look at that station, it's a little bit smaller than what we previously have been using, but this will fit our needs pretty well here. Now if you guys haven't already, hit the like button, it really does help out a ton here with the videos, but looks like we do have Chief a 1 SUV here, this is a pretty sweet Tahoe, but let's get these doors open up here, we'll take a quick walk through of our new fleet of fire vehicles and we'll wait for a call here now sometimes it's a busy day sometimes it's a slow day and everything in between here but look at that guys we have a brand new ladder too we have a engine a one here we do have a paramedic one we have brush one and rescue one over here so pretty good lineup you guys can see five fire rescue vehicles i think this is good enough for us but there's always goodies inside here so let's head upstairs uh, to the lounge area and and see if there's any donuts, any cookies, really anything that we can snack on while we wait. We have a call coming over the radio for a moving van on fire. They said it's a very small fire. We need to get over there as quick as we can. I'm thinking that we'll be taking rescue one here. It, it does have about 100 gallons of water on board. And that should be all we need here. Let's hop on in and let's head on over. We're just a few miles away here from the fire. Now let me know if you guys do like those new camera perspectives. I think they're pretty neat here. But this a small rescue truck, this Ford Super Duty is definitely a really good fit here for us. Now they did say it's a van fully loaded with uh, things that do need to be moved here. So hopefully we can put it out as quick as we can. But wow, looks like it is a pretty big fire compared to what they called for. Let's pull up right alongside here. We need to get the hoses. Let's get the hose and let's get going on putting out the fire. Now this does look to be a U-Haul, 1995 to rent it. Uh, this definitely looks to be a total loss here. We got to keep it at this fire. We have to put it out as quick as we can, and uh, maybe the vehicle is salvageable. But I will have the uh, sheriff call a tow truck, and I think this will have to be towed off to the tow yard. Now, I've really been enjoying these fire rescue videos here. I've been trying to feature probably one or two every single month here, and we'll be doing a lot more, and maybe some multiplayer role play, which should be a lot of fun. We're getting low on water here in the tank. We already went through 70 gallons of water here, but we are finally finishing up here. There we have it. We'll have to put the hose away here in uh, the truck, and we should be good to go. So the tow truck's on the way. The sheriff will do all the paperwork. That means we could get back on over to the station here. Now, with this truck, I really do like it quite a lot here. It's a pretty neat one. Now, as we do back up, there is a company pulse. We do have to have all the strobe lights on. That way, everyone knows that we are moving around here but wow such a neat little truck really handy uh, for going to these small calls like this we don't need to run a huge engine to a small call uh, when we could just take this thing the wild west county fire department definitely is always busy and uh, because we have a lot of farms nearby having two smaller trucks rescue one brush one is really really helpful here but if you guys haven't already go check me out on instagram i am posting every single day over there some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel now I will have to say I've so far been liking this station here. The main priority vehicles are kind of on the front end with both these smaller trucks on the back and I think that's a pretty good balance and I think there is another station a few miles up the road here. That's why we have ladder two not ladder one and they have engine two there so we kind of switch off 
which is pretty neat here. But we'll get this backed on in. And I'm actually thinking, why don't we uh, kind of leave this outside here. We'll get the other one pulled out as well. That way we have a little bit more room. And uh, we'll bring them in at the end of the shift here. But wow, that F350. One of my favorite body styles for the regular cabs. But the OBS brush truck, guys. This is a 20-year-old fire truck. Just keeps on going. And it is awesome to just kind of drive this around here. So let's get this pulled on out really quickly. Look at those strobe lights as well. Wow, that does look pretty neat here. But we'll wait around here for the next call. And we'll just have to kind of see what type of call we have. We have a call coming over the radio for a local diner having a kitchen fire engine one will be en route if we do need help rescue one will also be responding let's hop on in the engine get the lights going and we'll be blasting the uh, sirens here now one thing if you definitely live next to the fire station all day long you just hear the sirens but let's get on over there we gotta help put it out hopefully we could get the kitchen fire under control here that way the diner isn't a total loss and doesn't have to be completely torn down down here but this is one pretty sweet engine here really do like this a lot I will have to say it's so cool that we have fire trucks here in farm sim so neat and it's just awesome that we have all these cool different types of mods but it looks like a pretty small fire oh yeah if we get everything hoses all set up in time we'll park right in front of it it looks like we're still waiting on some more fire vehicles here but let's get the hose out here right from uh, the uh, pump line here we have about 45 feet of hoses and we'll uh, start here on the outside it looks like it's coming through a few of the windows we'll actually put water right through the windows but wow this should be a pretty quick easy one if uh, we could put it out uh, in a reasonable amount of time wow that was a lot of smoke there I actually just went inside I had all the gear on the oxygen tank the goggles everything even the fire coat and I was able to put it on out here a little bit of damage we'll have to have it be inspected to make sure it could stay open or if they will have to close down to get it repaired there but we were able to save the majority of the building luckily as well you know, a lot of this was made out of brick or steel or uh, metal so that really did help on out here but let's hop back in engine one this engine looks so 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 sweet here really do like the graphics like it did touch upon they were all reskinned and I thought this would be the perfect time to showcase all of them here in a new uh, fire rescue video as well and looks like we do also have another fire hose which is a pretty neat thing but let's hop back in the engine this uh, Pierce engine just keeps on going now these fire trucks we usually drive uh, with the station for 15 20 years as well so I think at the end of today once we uh, kind of get closer to the uh, end of our uh, shift we'll definitely have to give all these a wash here if you do have any cool ideas here for what calls we should respond to please drop it down below here when you are working with the fire rescue series any type of call could happen you could have fires you could have injuries or really anything and that's kind of the fun part about this as well which is pretty neat We'll get engine one back to in here. We'll just go straight on back. We do have a few guys there, but backing in these fire engines is a bit tricky. There we go. A little bit further, a little bit further. Perfect. And we'll get it uh, turned off here. But I think we have time for one or two more calls, and then we'll have to call it a day. We have a call coming in for an abandoned barn on fire. They said it's full engulfed in flames, all hands on deck. Engine 1, Ladder 2, and Rescue 1 will be responding. Water 2 is now arriving on scene here. We got to get it up in position now. This does have a full hose up top here. That will be really helpful. We'll be able to get up top here, but full engulfed in flames. We got to get moving on this pretty quickly here. Let's get the ladder up here. We'll get the water going. And engine 1 will be responding any moment. Thank you. 
Engine one's now arriving on scene. We do have multiple more fire trucks arriving as well. Looks like the fire just keeps on getting bigger and bigger. And would you look at that, guys? There is a tree growing through the front end here, which is pretty funny. But we got the ladder up there putting water on it from the air. We got to get going down below here. Oh, wow. Looks to be fully loaded with hay. So this will be one massive fire. We got to get it under control so that it does not spread to any trees or any near my building. But we'll have to keep at this. And I think this. This is a perfect point to call it a day here. So hope you guys enjoyed today's fire rescue video. Getting to use the brand new fleet of fire vehicles along with that new camera angle as well. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.